Hello everyone, welcome to Just Buy the Geeks. I hope you would have watched part 1 and 2 of molecular docking, in which I have demonstrated the procedures for protein and ligand preparation as well as setting the grid parameters. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to dock the protein with the ligand molecule using sequent terminal. I would like to mention that I will be providing the link to download all the softwares as well as the websites and commands required for molecular docking in the description of this video. First of all, I would like to demonstrate how to install Sigmund software in your computer. Basically, Sigmund is a platform similar to command prompt where you must type the code for molecular docking. Before installing Sigmund, you must check the type of your system. So for checking that, you must go to the search option and type my computer or this PC in the search box and next right click on the icon and go to the properties. Here you can see that my system supports 64 bit software. So I have already downloaded the 64 bit setup file. You must download the Sigmund terminal software depending on the type of your system. Once you finish downloading the setup file, Make sure that your system is connected to the internet to install the software. Let's begin the installation process by opening the file explorer and type c semicolon backslash users. Next, go to the particular user folder and create a new folder and name it as sigwin installer. And now open this particular folder and copy the setup file to this newly created folder. Now you may close this folder. Now double click on the setup file and press yes. Click next. Select install from the internet and click next. Now select install for all users and click next. Change the directory by clicking on the user name and select the newly created folder and click on ok. Now the local package directory is being selected. Now click next. Select the system proxy setting and click next. Now here there are various websites from where you can download Sigwin software. But I prefer downloading from the mug.ca website. This is an official website for downloading Linux based softwares. Select this particular link and click next. Here. The downloading has been started. This might take some time depending on your internet connection. Here appears a dialog box with various advanced level packages of Sigwin terminals. But as of now, we will be installing the base package alone. Just click next. Again click next. Here the remaining file will be downloaded. I would be skipping the downloading part as it would take about 5 to 6 minutes to completely download the file. Here, as you can see, the base packages are downloaded. Now you must select create an icon on the desktop and add an icon to start menu and then click on finish. Here I have successfully installed Sigwin into my computer. Next, let us open the molecular docking folder. Now, just for convenience, I would be renaming the file name from protein.dpf to 1.dpf. Next, just click on this folder icon and copy this path. And go to the search option and search for the notepad and open it. Now, you may paste the path over here. This path may vary depending on where you Save the folder. Next, launch the Sigwin Terminals application and type cd space the disk name that is c semicolon and then press enter. Next, type cd space and now copy users and paste it over here and press enter. Follow the same procedure by typing cd space, copy Elvis Samuel and paste it over here but this time 
remember to paste it between double quotes because there is a space between Elvis Samuel and you may use this arrow key to navigate and press enter. Next, type cd space copy desktop and paste it over here and press enter. Next, type cd space copy molecular docking and paste it between double quotes as again there is a space in between molecular docking and now you may press enter. Now we are in the working directory. Next, I would guide you on how to proceed further. But for time being, let us drag and keep this terminal aside. But make sure that you don't close the terminal as we are already in the working directory. Now, I would be opening the software folder in which I have already downloaded AutoGrid and AutoDoc software. I will be providing the link for downloading the software in the description of this video. Once the software is downloaded, you may copy both the software to the working folder. That is, I will be copying both the software in the molecular docking folder. Kindly note a point that every time you perform the docking process with different ligands, you must create a separate folder and copy paste both this file in all the working folders. Next. I will be closing the setup files and here I am done with copying both the autogrid and autodoc files. Now let us move to sequent terminals and type the first command. So type dot forward slash autogrid 4 dot exe space minus p space 1 dot gpf space minus l space 1.glg space and here minus 1.gpf is the input file and minus l 1.glg is the output file. Now let's run this command by pressing enter. Here we have successfully executed the first command but there was no display of successful completion. For getting a completion message, Let's type the second command, that is a tail command. So let's type tail space minus f space 1 dot glg and press enter. Now the result is being displayed as successful completion. Now let's open the working folder and here we can see some new files have been generated with name 1 dot glg along with several other files. Now let us move back to the terminals where we can see that the run is successfully completed and we can close this file and press OK. Kindly note that while typing the segment command make sure that you don't make any mistake. Even if there is a single mistake the code will not run at all. So make sure that you type the correct command without any mistake. Now let us again open the segment terminal and go to the working directory by setting the path. Here the working directory or folder remains the same so I will be giving the same path. Now we are in the working directory. Now let us type autodoc command dot forward slash autodoc 4 dot exe space minus p space 1 dot dpf space minus l space 1 dot dlg space and here minus p 1 dot dpf is the input file and minus l 1 dot dlg is the output file. Now let's run this command by pressing enter. Here we have successfully executed the first command but there was no result displayed. So for getting a result let's type the second command that is a tail command. So let's type tail space minus f space 1 dot dlg and press enter. Now the program has been started and the progress is being displayed. I hope you remember in part 2 of molecular docking we have set the GA runs as 500. So here you can view the program that has been initiated and the first run is in progress. Once all the 500 runs are complete the final result will be displayed. While practicing molecular docking you may set the GA runs as 10 or 20 during setting the grid parameters itself. But 
for a better or accurate result, you must run at least 500 to 1000 GA runs. Now, here for completing all 500 GA runs, it took me around 6 hours and this is the final stage of the run. So, I would be skipping the recording in between and would display the last run alone. Make sure that you remove your system from sleep or battery saving mode or else the program will be terminated. So guys, here we have successfully completed our docking. Now, let's close or just minimize the segment terminal and go to the molecular docking folder and check for 1.dlg file. Now, let us open this file with WordPad. If you don't find WordPad over here, just click on more option and you may find it over here. Now, here you can see lots of data related to docking. Now, for obtaining the required data from this file, let's click Ctrl plus F together to open the find window. Now, let us search for RMSD and press find next. Here, you can see the RMSD table. So, we have got the best result at 386th run and the lowest binding energy is minus 6.61. So, you will be using this data that is the binding energy of curcumin at 386th run. First of all, let us open an excel sheet and give the heading as protein name. Next, ligand name. Next, run. Next, binding energy. So the protein name is E6 protein but the PDB ID was 2FK4. So I will be entering it as 2FK4. Next, our ligand was curcumin, but I have named it as 1. So, 1 is my ligand. And next is the number of runs, that is 386 run. And binding energy was minus 6.61. Similarly, we have to find the binding energy of various other ligands depending on our study. And you may enter it in the Excel sheet and maintain it as a record for comparing with every other ligands and choosing the best among them for further studies. So. Let's save this file in molecular docking folder and name it as docking and click on save. Now you can minimize this excel sheet and you can cancel the finder window. Until now we have created 1.dlg and 1.glg file using segment terminals. Now let us open the segment terminal and close the window. Click on OK. Now. Let us reopen the segment terminal and go to the working directory by setting the path. Here, the working directory or folder remains the same. So, I will be giving the same path. Now, we are in the working directory. Now, we have to enter certain commands over here. Let's type our first command that is grep space single inverted comma docked space 1.dlg space line space cut space minus c9 minus space greater than space one underscore run dot pdbqt and press enter here grep command is used in the linux platform which is similar to find command in windows so in linux we use grep to get particular data from the file Followed by 1.dlg is an input file that finds and cuts the required data using the cut command from column 9 and save it as 1 underscore run dot pdbqt as output file. So here the code will always remain the same. Ok, now a new pdbqt file is generated in the molecular docking folder. We must convert this particular file from pdbqt to pdb format. So, for converting this particular file, we must enter a particular command that is cut space minus c minus 66 space 1 underscore run dot pdbqt space greater than space 1 underscore run dot pdb and press enter. So even here the code will always remain same. Now you can see a new file that is 1 underscore run dot pdb file is generated. Now, we must open this file using WordPad. Now, we can see that the required portion of the data is present in this particular file. 
in the previous file if you would have noticed the term docked was mentioned everywhere but now all those datas have been removed now we can see some root datas which we will be using in further steps now let us open the segment terminals and close the window further let us go to the molecular docking folder and double click and open the one.dlg file using wordpad here let us press ctrl plus f on the keyboard and you can see a search dialog box type rmst table and click on find next so here in this table we can see the lowest binding nsg at the 386th run in your case you might get the least binding energy at a different run value so select the first displayed run value from the rmst table which has the least binding energy now minimize the dlg file and let's open the one underscore run dot pdb file using wordpad here let us press ctrl plus f on the keyboard and you can see a search dialog box search run equal to 386 and click on find next now you may close this find window here you can see the energy value required for binding as well as the coordinate values now we will be copying the required data from the 386th run starting from atom till just before tur just copy this data and now you must open the protein file that is 2fk underscore prepared and open it with wordpad now scroll down till the last and paste the copy data just before the end make sure that end is present in the last now click on the file bring the cursor on save as and select rich text format now you may give any name of your choice but I will be naming it as docked underscore protein dot pdb and make sure that you select the folder where you want to save it. I will be saving it in the molecular docking folder and click on save. Now click on yes. Here we can see the saved file. We will be using this file containing docked protein with ligand molecule for further visualization. So that's all for this video. Watch part 4 on visualization using Chimera. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel.